Let's take a practical application of Euclid's division algorithm. A confectioner store has 130 pastries and 140 patties. He wants to put them in refrigerator in a manner so that each container has equal number of items and minimum number of container are used. How many items should come in container? You must be wondering how is this related to the Euclid's division algorithm. Now, what happens is that suppose you have these containers. Okay. Let's say you put in 10 items in each of them. So there are 270 items in all, which is 130 plus 140. So what he says is how many items should be put in each container? Okay. Now, if you have to have this equal, the number have to be equal, then it's something like, you know, what is the highest common factor? Because if whatever is the highest common factor of pastries and patties, okay, that's, that's something which you have to find out. And how do you do that? I mean, that's very simple. Again, these 130 and 140 are just like two numbers in a Euclid's form division algorithm. So 140 can be written as 130 into 1 plus 10. So in second case, basically, this becomes my A and the remainder becomes my B. Or 130 can be written as 13 or rather 10 into 13 plus 0. Now because 0 is a remainder, so therefore the HCF is equal to 10. So if you start putting 10 items in each category, then basically you will use the minimum number of tricks. 